The Epson Paper Lab. Printed giant Epson has developed an in-office paper recycling machine called the Paper Lab. You put waste paper in and then new bright white printer paper comes out. Epson says this process is more efficient than sending paper off to an off-site recycling plant and it's also much more secure. The Paper Lab breaks paper down into its constituent fibres before building them back up into new sheets. It's one of the most secure paper shredders that money can buy. As for how the Paper Lab actually works, Epson is not going into too much detail on this, as you can imagine. But there seems to be two processes, fiberizing and binding. Fiberization is the process of turning the waste paper back into its constituent long, thin, cottony fibers. The second process is binding, where the fibers are stitched back together again. And finally, during a pressure forming stage, the paper's thickness, density and size are decided. Epson claims the paper lab will generate new paper within 3 minutes of waste paper being fed into it. Users can produce a variety of types of paper to meet their needs, from A4 and A3 office paper of various thicknesses, to paper for business cards, colour paper and even scented paper. Epson says Paper Lab is capable of generating up to 14 sheets of A4 paper per minute and up to 6720 sheets per day. That's 13 reams of paper per day. If the machine was run every day for 50 weeks of the year, it could make 4550 reams of paper. And at $4.50 per ream, that is an approximate $20,475 in savings each year not having to buy new paper. The other areas of savings the Paper Lab produces is through not having to pay for waste removal and destruction of sensitive documents. Not to mention savings to the environment in the form of trees being cut down to make new paper, landfill of old shredded documents, freight costs to deliver new paper and more. As for the price of the machine, one UK magazine estimated it will cost around £50,000 or about £100,000. Without knowing the machine cost or the consumable cost, there is no way to do a cost per sheet comparison. But in the long run, a machine like this will save the company money and more importantly, the environment, which you cannot put a price on. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.